guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a while I've got so many unboxings to do I've been a little lull lately because there's just been so much happening but with 2022 I have decided that I'm gonna put up more videos more often so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you do hit the like button I'm sure you're gonna enjoy a lot more unboxings and if you've been waiting for this one then let's dive right in so this was the october box i did get it i think probably like um a month and a half or so back but i really did not get time to put up this video so uh yeah finally i have so this is the bereave box which means i have all the five books that they had announced for that month first of all right off the bat i think this is one of like their really good boxes that they have done i usually get like the orange colored one or yeah i usually have like the orange colored one this time the box is very christmasy and nice and um i liked it they've also like changed the um craft paper inside it all looks like really fun and beautiful so now let's just dive right into what what i got as far as this box so first off we have an author letter for the iron widow which I haven't read yet, but yeah, that's a pretty big author letter. We'll get to that. There's a really cute 2022 calendar, like a desk calendar. I think that this is one of like a really good uh, knickknack that you can get in a box. It's got like a lot of quotes um, from different uh, books. So I think that was also really thoughtful, really good for a bookworm. And then there's like this little envelope, we'll get to it right in a moment. And then there's like this cute little card that you could use if you'd like to get one of their Santa, secret Santas, which I'm too late now for anyway. Let's dive right into the books. Um, so first off, there's this beautiful edition of Midnight in Everwood. Um, I have been wanting to read this for a while. I know I got this box also been a while, but um, I think this is perfect for like a wintery read. I know we're now in February, I'm sorry, January. I've just lost track of time. But I still think this would be a great read. If you have read this, let me know what you think. It's got like a beautiful um, retelling of a fairy tale. And uh, yeah, looking forward to reading this. Um, there's also, uh, yes, the Iron Widow, which, which honestly, I'm not looking forward as much I am for the other books in this box but um, I'm happy to go ahead and read what I think of it but that's pretty much it I wasn't like really keen on this book but uh, if I had to go for like the Believe edition because I wanted some of the other books this was their um, this was their lowest level box book and so I was going to get this anyway so I might as well try and read it there's also um, this is usually where they have their enamel pins um so let's just see what i got this time oh okay so this is i think based off of once upon a broken heart and that's a really nice night i do have quite a lot of enamel pins um this one is really pretty um i think it looks really good they also sent this which is which is difficult to open baby planter that's based off of the nutcracker what perfect way to celebrate the christmas season than with a nutcracker plant um it also has this cute buttonhole at the bottom which is perfect for like indoor plants so yeah i probably will be planting something in this real soon it's just beautiful to look at that was a very nice um knickknack there's also a bracelet which says every story has the potential for infinite endings and it's like this really nice gold i think in their um stories they put it up in rose gold which i i think was more prettier if this had been in rose gold but yeah i think this is okay as well so that that's just like a that's how it looks yes i would prefer this in rose gold um, it would look more like the ones that you get with the Daniel Wellington watches. 
Um, this looks similar to that except that it's in gold. And then we have more books coming our way. There is this, oh my gosh, I was so excited for this book, this gorgeous, gorgeous edition of Little Thieves. Um, I don't know, this book smells so good. I don't know why the book smells so good. It's just so beautiful, this hardback. Um, this is also a retelling. And uh, it's, uh, I just... I just love this hardback. It's just, just look at the color combination. It's just like amazing. Uh, this was one of the books that I want to read really bad. I think this came with the Believe. Um, the Believe only had this book. So I specifically wanted to go for the Believe just for this. And now I'm so glad I have it and I'm going to read this real soon. So I am excited for that. And uh, yeah. So this book is so prettily wrapped because it looks like it's a gift of, of the what for Christmas. I don't want to tear the wrapper right now, so I got myself a scissor. And let's, I haven't taken a look at how this book looks, so I am it's not coming out. Okay. I'm excited to see how this book looks like. Because it's supposed to have a um special dust jacket as well um, so I'm really excited about that it's so beautifully wrapped I am amazed that they have time to do all this gorgeous wrapping for every single box that they sent out which I think was oh my, speechless utterly speechless just look at this Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber one of the most um, wanted books of 2021 and it just looks amazing. So this is the um, inside hardback and it looks even gorgeous than the dust jacket. I think this looks so pretty. Uh, but then again, most of the Stephanie Garber books look really pretty. So um, I'm excited about this. I think only... only um, small problem I have is I have read the Caraval series well I've read the first two books and I was not like a huge fan I know Caraval has a lot of fans but I personally wasn't I really hope this doesn't um, underwhelm me I really really want to be blown off by this book because I have really high expectations for it so yeah if you have read the book let me know what you thought about it and then the book that I literally booked the entire box for and this is Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff and this has the additional dust jacket that's how it looks it is just beautiful the original um, cover or the original jacket everybody knows how that looks but um, I'm just gonna show you like a version that's well. that's how the original cover looks and I think this just elevates it to like a whole different place this book is a fat I did not know how fat this book was I think it's as huge as um, Priority of the Orange Tree or one of the Dark Artifices book I think it's even fatter than the last hour so I'm not really sure but this was my most awaited book of 2021 and I finally have it and I'm going to start on this right away I am so excited about this and I've heard so many rave reviews, I've just not gotten around to it. It is my to read book next month or this month starting. Um, let's see how much I go through. I'll definitely put a review video once I'm done with it. Now there was one other book that I also added as part of this package and that was the Lower Olympus. And uh, that did not ship with this box. So I had written over to customer care and asked them about the book and they told me that the book hasn't arrived as yet. And there's been a delay and so I probably get it only in February separately, which is okay. I just wish I had been pre-warned a little bit because I was really excited to see Lower Olympus when I got this box and it wasn't there and so that was a little disappointing. The other things were the fact that the Bereave also has two additional um, goodies, which I did not get as part of this box. And uh, we did receive an email or I personally did receive an email that said that those two goodies would be shipped separately. So I think there was a candle and there was one one other goodie as well. So I probably get it separately. 
Um, but otherwise, I think that the quality of the Bitbook box is getting better and better. I think I missed this envelope, so let's just go through what's in it as well. So in it, we've got two bookmarks that are so beautiful. One based out of uh, Midnight in Everwood and one based off of Empire of the Vampire. Both are pretty. And then this is the usual book postcard which um, this box is in the darkness of the night and this has got all of the elements that are there as part of this box and then there was this for the Christmas cheer um, oh yeah so this is like the secret Santa code which I can't use now anyway and then this beautiful postcard of um, Evangeline I'm supposing she's a character in Empire of the Vampire. But I totally love these artworks because I really think you could like frame them and keep it on the bookshelf. And that is something that I've been wanting to do sometime this year. So I'm going to collect all of my postcards and put, put them up in like super cute frames and put them up. I think they would just elevate any um, empty space or any place that you would like to focus on. So yeah, this is a really pretty artwork as well. So I think that this box was really, really nice. I actually enjoyed the quality of everything in this box. I remember when I initially got the book box, maybe like two years back when I started subscribing to them, uh, some of the goodies were okay. Some of them were like a little bit underwhelming, but I think now they put like a lot of care into each of the goodies that they come in. And yeah, so I'm really stoked about it and glad that I got some of the books that I really wanted. I'm going to get around to reading them soon and I will let you know what I think about each of these books separately. Now, I also have a few more unboxings that I have to do. So keep a wait and watch for some of my next videos. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. I've been doing this um, unboxing after a while now. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that super motivates me to make more videos. And hit the like button drop a few comments i'll check you back out if you also have a youtube channel but otherwise i'll see you in another video bye